Burundi Red Cross is implementing a project on the mobilization of sustainable local capacities. Two pilot villages have been selected. These are Gasasa in Ruigi province and Kayange in Karusi province. In a post-conflict country like Burundi, local capacities are so scarce that villagers use their physical strength as an alternative answer. That's why Red Cross units that have been set up in the framework of the project are sensitized to community mutual aid. They have quickly understood and they are easily identifiable at work. Those are residents of Gasasa village who are clearing a banana plantation belonging to a certain Nyankurubike. The latter is a one-legged old man whose wife is also almost invalid because of age. Some meters away, Red Cross members and volunteers had brought the same support to Helen Nhibagainvo. Every time such a humanitarian action goes with supplying water and firewood to the assisted people. Assistance to the vulnerable follows well-established rules. Red Cross members and volunteers are happy to come back to ancestral values of mutual aid, a way for them to reconcile after more than 10 years of civil war. They are convinced that one's neighbor is a good humanitarian. At Gasasa village, seven most vulnerable households have already been assisted within a period of only two months. After every humanitarian action, volunteers meet to agree on instructions for the following week. It is generally about choosing a new person to be assisted and distributing roles accordingly. The village unit is always welcoming new members. That's why the unit president deals with whenever there's a newcomer, the introduction of his committee. This spirit of mutual aid is also backed by the provincial administration. Au niveau de, de l'administrateur de la province, nous apprécions cela positivement. Et ça fait d'ailleurs partie de, de nos programmes d'inviter les gens à, à être ensemble et à s'entraider mutuellement. There's good collaboration between Burundi Red Cross and territorial administration. This is notably materialized by the allocation of plot for the construction of a regional office in Ruigi province. It's worth mentioning that the spouse of the Ruigi governor is the Red Cross focal point at Ruigi branch. This province is one of the leading branches of the national society. Let's now go to Shambo commune in Karusi province. That's where it's located Kayanga village of which Red Cross members and volunteers are competing with those of Gasasa village in delivering good services to the most vulnerable. Here, they are preparing a field 
intended to rice plantation. They are giving a helping hand to a certain Deo Bafamukanwa, who has been recently repatriated. His vulnerability has been occasioned by the infertility of his arable land. The plot is alone from his neighbor, himself a Red Cross member. They are happy to put on Red Cross dresses. They sing religious songs as they cultivate. The message is that the reward is rather in heaven. This is nothing but believing in humanity and voluntary service. Il n'exige rien. Il travaille, il rentre et content, satisfait du travail qu'ils ont réalisé. Some years back in Burundi, people who were not very familiar with Red Cross could take the emblem for a flag of political party. On the other hand, Red Cross could be associated with blood trade. Nowadays, with the pilot project on the mobilization of sustainable local capacities, bad mouths are more and more shutting up. In fact, they learned a lesson from members and volunteers of the two pilot villages. Visibly, the Red Cross mission has been understood. The willingness to alleviate the suffering of the most vulnerable is already noticeable in neighboring localities. It's a good start with the two pilot villages. Now Burundi Red Cross can make a new step. The aim is to set up Red Cross units in all the villages and hills of the country within a three-year period. With the down to top approach, Burundi Red Cross intends to cope with being a house without a ground floor. The dream is being fulfilled through the setting up of community-based structures. The pilot project on the mobilization of sustainable local capacities is most likely to bear fruits as Burundi Red Cross is already present in all the provinces and communes of the country.